Uh, today we want to look at um, cone flowers in, in the garden. Uh, it's, it's an area that um, there's been tremendous uh, hybridizing taking place. There's so many new varieties available now. Uh, there is a price to pay for that in some ways and a lot of these newer ones are um, coming to the market because they have some unique color or form to the flower and sometimes that's at the expense of the hardiness of the plant. At Rose Hill Gardens we're trying to actually grow quite a few of these uh, in our gardens to evaluate them, see which ones uh, really do well in, in a harsher climate like this. Uh, some general things that we've learned is that the earlier that these plants are put into the garden during the growing season, say in, in May or June, uh, does make a big difference as far as their survivability over the winter. Also grow them in uh, very, very good soil. Uh, we've tested some in uh, really rich soil. Those plants have absolutely thrived and, and done well. Uh, the one in front of us here is called Supreme Flamingo. And uh, just kind of an interesting color, uh, kind of a semi-double flower, uh, where the cone is actually very colorful in itself. Uh, the rays are what we call drooping, pulling downward. One thing we notice with some of the uh, new cultivars is that they can be a little bit tall, and when the flower is real full and it rains, there's a lot of weight on the petals, and some of them can actually uh, droop, flop to the ground. A couple other examples here. Uh, this particular one is called Butterfly Kisses. Uh, much smaller in nature, almost uh, a good plant for the border. And not just the plant is uh, smaller and dwarf, the flowers are smaller also. And uh, it looks very, very attractive. Cone flowers tend to be fairly uh, long blooming and uh, that is uh, a real plus for them. Uh, because these plants are still very interesting in the month of August and that's when we're looking for some good color yet. So there's some real value there also. And another one here, uh, the yellow cone flowers. They've been around uh, for a few years. This particular one is called Cleopatra. It's one that we're uh, quite happy with and, and that we can uh, recommend. Uh, one of the problems with some of the old purple cone flowers were that they would produce a lot of seed, and that's what happens in the cone here, that those are all potential seeds. Uh, but those seeds would fall to the ground uh, in, in the winter, and next spring they would sprout, and actually you had more cone flowers than you even wanted. Uh, that seems to be less of a problem with the modern hybrids. Okay, we're gonna look at a couple cultivars here from, uh, this is our actually our test garden uh, at Rose Hill uh, for some of the newer cultivars couple uh, really good performers are right here. Uh, this particular one is called After Midnight. Uh, although it resembles more the common purple, um, there are some unique things about it. Predominantly would be the uh, very, very dark stem. Uh, that actually adds a lot of interest to the plant prior to the bloom time. Um, if you're looking for something a lot brighter in the garden, uh, this is a very new cultivar. Uh, it's called Virgin. Um, actually beautiful white flower on this thing with the green center, very striking. Um, exceptional growth habit, sturdy, uh, very, very high bud count. And these were planted last, uh, probably last July. So they're not that old and yet you can see the exceptional growth on these. However, the soil here is, uh, is exceptional. All right, a couple other plants uh, in the test garden. Um, this one is doing well in a sense that uh, it's, it flowers very heavily. Flower pretty unique, uh, rather uh, attractive. It's called raspberry truffle. However, here again, we have a very large flower, very double, and uh, it doesn't seem like the strength is there in the stems to fully support it. So you have to weigh out beautiful color uh, as opposed to a little bit uh, rangy uh, in the garden. And another one here, this particular one is called solar flare. And again, the stems are somewhat dark on here. But uh, this is another variety that we certainly could, uh, could highly recommend. But if you want to stop out at Rose Hill Gardens, um, we have probably 12 or 15 uh, different cultivars available at any given time. Uh, we'd be glad to show you through the trial gardens, first of all. You can see how they grow, their habits, uh, what, what they can do at maturity. 
And uh, most of these are available then in, in pots at, at a very reasonable cost. So we'd uh, like you to stop in and uh, we'll, we'll take you through the, the garden and look at the various coneflowers.